12th round of the Scottish Highland League between For Martin United and Wick Academy at North Lodge Park in Pitmethen Ellen. This game was actually from November but it got postponed. The first goal arrived very early when Mark Lorenz took advantage of an error of the goalkeeper to shoot from the distance and score the first one for the locals, making it 1-0. After the goal, the locals continued attacking and the visitors seemed not to be in the game until past several minutes. This is more for the locals. The goalkeeper is Wick Academy's goalkeeper who is pretty much successful by stopping the goal. That's a well-defended action by the visitors. This corner ball that doesn't get to become a goal and more from the locals. Locals continued striking, continued attacking, having the visitors locked in their side of the pitch. After 20 minutes, the visitors, Wick Academy started getting, making themselves seen in for Martin United's pitch. This is another action. The shot that goes Sla uh, easy to the goalkeeper and in the 28th minute it was Gary Pullen who took advantage of the following cross to head the ball into the net it was 1-1 it was an amazing action by the visitor squad and see how at the end Gary Pullen makes it valuable for the 1-1. The game continued, the locals wouldn't put their arms down and would continue striking. But the score was going to be 1-1 by half time. See that's one of the best actions, double head. Head, double headed ball in the box but is over the crossbar also weak academy had their chances but once again and by half time it was for martin united one weak academy one on the second half the second half started with the visitors this time having the ball and striking and seeking the second goal in front of for Martin's United for Martin United's goal. Also, the locals would have their clear actions, like this, for example, with that headed ball that goes over the crossbar. Good action by Wick, uh, Wick Academy, but the local goalkeeper who is well aware of the situation and clears the ball. That is. Another chance for, for Martin United, but the goal does not arrive yet. That's Wick Academy. What a super hand by the local goalkeeper. And in the 83rd minute, this action was going to make Paul Campbell to remain alone in front of the goalkeeper, no position, and the shot that becomes the second goal. It was 2-1 for, for Martin United. See how Paul Campbell picks up the pass in front of the goalkeeper and makes the second one. But this was not going to be the last goal. It was Kevin Hanrati who takes advantage of the following shot from out with the box to make the third and last goal of the game. Fantastic action by for Martin United's player. 
see how he dribbles the defender, we had a miss defender, and with that amazing clean shot, makes the third one. This could have been the fourth one, but the goalkeeper clears the ball in on the line. So no goal for, for Martin United in this case. That's one of the last actions during the last minutes. Wick Academy seemed to be over with the game. And that is the end of the game. At the end for Martin United 3, Wick Academy 1. The three points that remain for the locals. Here we can see a couple of pictures that got taken throughout the game. Hope you have enjoyed the video. If this is the case, please give it a like and subscribe, which helps me not to continue growing. I want to send special greetings to Nikki Cordiner, who I get I got to meet yesterday. He does also have a YouTube channel. Please go and subscribe. Please remember that this Saturday Bankery plays again against the uh, White Hills. We will have the highlights in this channel, a collection underscore TV. Once again, please like and subscribe. See you this weekend.